Saseni mkofiti mwanze nimewa miss mwanze nimewa hata karibuni tena to Celes Reflection to we want we once again welcome you to our show <laughs> Celes Reflection thank you for watching thank you for engaging with us tumekuwa pamoja mwanze imekuwa imekuwa sasa tutamalizia sasa tuna rap but yeah it's been it's been a good 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 journey so today nimefika mahali mpaka yani kuketi tunaketi kenya tutu yani sasa hii mtu understand sasa hii sasa hii tu ni mtu understand like there is nothing much i can say um, co host akisema tuketi hivi tunaketi hivi akisema tuangalie huko tuangalie tu huko but anyway today i am with another special guest a friend of a friend anaitwa Ruth Ruth na msishtue Ruth sana Ruth <laughs> Ruth would you introduce My name is Ruth Kuntai and I am a trained nurse and I'm here to talk about midwifery pregnancy safe pregnancy and preparing for childbirth So you can guess we are preparing for childbirth like to go up side so I feel safe today ana nikisikia eh si Ruth ako hapa nikwambia tu wa shui Ruth take over <laughs> yeah but uh, thank you so much Ruth for coming for tumetaka sana kuongelelea story but I think this is the right time kuongelelea unaona it's like kuna ni prepare yeah na niambia hivi na hivi na watu siniogopeshe sana tayari niko na uoga tasema tu facts ah but <laughs> but uoga iko yeah but it's good to learn and then kuna msi hapo hivyo mwenye yeah nataka kusikia tu ajue ajijulia so yeah here we are with Ruth uh, i have been i i am also tuseme tu i am a good girl <laughs> I have been doing my clinics. So first things first actually. When when you discover you're pregnant like ile what akiwa live iko na ball. Nafa nianzie wapi? Unajua kwanza unachanganyikia ngwa kiasi. Yeah. Unaona giza. Kwanza kama uko unaitarajia. Hiyo yes. hiyo ya kushtukia ndio inaitwa unplanned pregnancy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes. Unplanned. Yes. Yeah, and it doesn't calling it unplanned, it doesn't mean you got it by mistake or you got it the wrong time. It is just unplanned. You can be married and oops, labda family method ime ime kata and then you find yourself you're pregnant. Oh. So it doesn't really It's not a bad one. It is not a bad thing to have unplanned pregnancy. It happens even in in marriages. Mm. Yes. So like now I I am I I am pregnant. Mm-hmm. And most of the times ni after you miss your menses. Like yes. for me I it's not it's not normal. It's not kawaida. Yes. Anytime they are late like if you most of the times yani ai ah sika eto eto na wala say that ikosa kesho hivyo so when you have those regular menses first things first ni when you miss them in your head you're like okay There's something is going on yeah yeah so after umeambia partner wako here we are you're pregnant maybe sasa ebu niambie what is the first step because me being muoga ya muoga my first step ni ngatu kupigia gaina and that is the right thing to do i'm supposed to you're supposed to go to a hospital and then confirm it through a lab test they might do a urine test for you to confirm whether the pregnancy is there or not because missing periods does not necessarily mean you're pregnant you can miss periods because of a family okay. planning method or some miss periods because of change of weather some medical conditions can make you miss your mes- menses so missing menses does not necessarily mean that you're pregnant so if you miss your menses and you're thinking like the first thing you could be pregnant the best thing is to go to a hospital 
necessarily an antenatal clinic set up and you have the lab tests done for you to confirm the pregnancy. Now once the pregnancy has been confirmed and you have been told you're pregnant, immediately you're supposed to start your antenatal clinic. Immediately, immediately. Even if it's one week? Even if it's one week old? Usually one week, no, it might not be detected. The, the hormone which is in the urine, when you get pregnant, the hormone that is detected in the urine to, to suggest you're pregnant does not appear until 20, like two weeks after conception. So it will not be detected in a week's time. So it's usually after two weeks. That's the earliest it can be detected if you're not sure. And that's for the unplanned? Yes. For the planned? For the planned also, you might not be able to know the exact date of conception because of many things. The days in your cycle, you might not be a hundred percent that this is the exact day that I conceived, even if you were planning it. But and so okay. uh -huh. unless your menses are very regular, your cycle is a twenty-eight day cycle. When you can be able to know the safe days, whether you're on the safe days or not, that way you can be able to to gauge, but not a hundred percent like this is the exact day that I conceived. So, mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I'm asking for the plan, yes, it's because you had mentioned if you and your person are planning, yes. So, antenatal clinics, they lose Nanzanga when usually, who come a Jew, they start even six months earlier. The moment we choose that we want to get a baby, yes they start earlier and when they start earlier it's it has its own advantages because most partners want to know their compatibility in terms of blood groups if you know you your partner has blood res, blood group with races negative mm. and your races positive you can be able to plan earlier it doesn't mean you're incompatible, you cannot like get married and have babies. You can, but it is always good because it prepares you. Because there's, there's medication you get as a pregnant woman if your partner is rest as negative. There's a, um, there's a medicine you're supposed to get, an injection you're supposed to get yeah, at 28 days and like 28 days after after birth yes so here we are yeah. we've discovered you're pregnant we've started with that antenatal clinics the the difficult part is i'm happy you're here now end up more blood group yes like i am pregnant yes then the test is gonna come after nikaza kuniskia so i am pregnant and if i'm compatible with my partner I, 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 I am happy to Nazifanya Ali, but I am like, okay, and then what? Me, as the person out there, when you see your side, your medication, in the Nashindua, Konino and Pima come, I'm compatible, Sai. Simto Yako. Like, in a scare, what if we are not? Like, come as a story, the rest is factor. Mostly, when a woman. Because when you go to the antenatal clinic, your husband doesn't, that mm -hmm. is not tested. Yes, it's me alone. It is you alone. So if your race is negative, and you know, most, they are very rare, race is negative. So yeah. most people are race is positive. Now you're taken as a special person. You're given more care, and you're taken care of in a closer way. Not, not like others are not taken care of, but you're given more special, special care just to make sure the baby inside of you doesn't react with you. You know why? If your race is, if your race is negative 
and the baby growing inside of you is raised as positive it's like a stranger your immunity is already sensitized like there's something foreign inside of you and without any treatment the first baby you can have it safely but without already even, without the, even going for the tests without even having the medication for i was reading i, I was reading about it the other time there is a friend of mine yeah. who has gone through it recently so she missed the injection it's called anti d mm. anti d injection so the first baby you can have it safely but the second pregnancy already with the first pregnancy your immune, immune system has already been sensitized mm. so the following pregnancy now the immunity will fight your immunity immune system will fight against this foreign thing but it doesn't mean that you can't that's it why you need the special attention yes, yes. Mm. that's why you need the injection mm. with the injection you will just carry it safely through birth and it's only the 28 after injection then the rest ni kuwa monitored yes. all the way yes all the way and you know we have people hata sasa na jotu kuna msema ona ai at the immediately i'm pregnant i start going for antenatal clinics we have people who do not as i say me kuna wale by choice kuna wale wa ignorance kupuuza na kuna wale wa hawajui like i see niko na bolts wacha ningoje tumbo iko kubwa eh ajawi fika clinic so hata ju kuna blood group ina five pimwe haju kuna tetanus situations ju hiv they take a lot of tests yes so what is the importance of this antenatal clinics of course there is that of resource factor and another thing that is done during antenatal visit which is very important at first contact the ANC profile is done the ANC profile includes all those tests we are talking about we have talked about blood group to determine the resource factors another very important thing that is tested is hp the level of your blood like the hemoglobin level of your blood which is very important for a pregnant lady because if it is low it it needed it we need to boost it with some medication so that by the time you're reaching term you have enough blood because blood is expected to be lost during birth that is for the health for your health and even for the health of the baby because if you're not having enough blood still the baby will not grow very well so hb very important and uh, another thing another test that is done is urinalysis to check whether there are any infections the utis which are very common during pregnancy mm. not that women are dirty yeah. but it is very common because once you get pregnant your immunity goes low so you are prone to very many many things around including infections so infections very important because when they are detected early and they treated early they avoid onward like transmission they can even go like transmit upwards and affect the baby and cause some complications so si ati ni ile tu tunayenanga tunakuwa na daktari sasa yuko kilo ngapi sasa eh sasa umeongezea ama hujakula there's a lot to those clinics yes and wait the way you've mentioned very important when you get pregnant you're supposed to get to gain around 12 kg ah huh? yes from the first month yes huh? by the time you're reaching term you're supposed to have added about 12 kg that is the normal that yes. is the minimum that is normal it shows you know why you go to antenatal clinic like every month mm-hmm. and they weigh your weight they want to know whether you the baby is growing and whether you are growing who is growing who is both supposed to be growing both of you i am also growing yes because you need to ac- to accommodate the demands of the baby mm 12 kg is the bingi ruth eh is a token na tatu ni achie tisa akwachie tisha lakini hizo zita zita unajua lakini hizo 12 kg 
si mtoto tu na wewe mm. there's amniotic fluid there's placenta which will go away will they adapt to twins mostly that is the expected although not all of them add 12 mostly zinachezea api yes nataka kujua na baki na ngapi <laughs> mostly zinachezea api ukitoa mtoto placenta amniotic itashuka kama ngapi hivi unaweza baki labda na, na tatu za nyo ulikuwa umeongezea Okay, what are you wanting? That makes sense. Do a mm-hmm. 12 is a lot. Yes. But all these things, expected. all these things like we are working towards a healthy delivery. Yes, like, a healthy pregnancy for both and ma- mother baby and be- ma- and baby and safe delivery. That is what we are aiming at. So that's why you're working this journey. Yes. And and doesn't matter who you're seeing. I'm supposed to be seeing the guy, I'm supposed to be seeing the midwife, I'm supposed to be seeing who is the antenatal clinics. Ama it depends on how they are running different organizations there's some antenatal clinics in private hospitals that are that are run by gynecologists in the government mostly they are run by nurses mm. but for any condition that needs to be attended to there are always doctors there mm. to help yes so you're saying Ruth is saying it's very important to walk this journey Yes. By the time naenda ku deliver, nafaa kuwa nimefanya clinics kaa ngapi? Like what is the Ama right bili now zimetosha. Ah, bili ni kidogo. Huh? They're saying um, right now according to the revised standards you're supposed to have like eight, a minimum of eight before visits. delivery. Before delivery. Eight visits. Yes. But, minimum. But yeah, cuz from the moment you discovered you're pregnant every month there's a clinic Sindio? yes yeah like every then there's a scan yes. is the scan a must usually it's it's good to check on the baby especially when you're having some symptoms that are not good like pains or you're not feeling fetal movements which are supposed to her to to start at 16 weeks mm-hmm. mostly most people start at 16 weeks but some they go up to 20 weeks to start those movements and once they start when they stop for a whole day it is not okay it's not normal it's good to check mm. especially if you're doing strenuous works and you're having you're doing works that are keeping you at risk various risks you're supposed to feel that baby every day every make day. a move make a move yes and babies don't make a move the same way there's some who will make very many mm. movements now as a lady you will know mm. what kind of you of a baby you have inside mm, mm. yes like when you say oh kiasi the other one was making movements yes yeah if if we can go back to the anc nc importance another thing which is very important is diet which you are usually told when you start your clinic on the diet that you're going to eat like a balanced diet and another very important thing is iron supplements yeah those ones i am not joking with them i swear you should know this time i am not last time i didn't know you're supposed to take those supplements even during breastfeeding i yes. didn't know that so after delivery ship yes Do you know even for planned planned pregnancies you start they start that? before yes I know the miss kulangi health so zinaweza kuwa zinanisaidia zinaweza kusaidia vizuri sana not only because of your the nutrient part of it the iron supplements they compress of iron and ferrous sulfate the ferrous sulfate is very important in development of the baby mm-hmm. you know they prevent some defect that baby are born with they prevent some birth defects yes and they help in the development of the baby and you know the be- the forming of the baby the development of the baby mostly take part in the first trimester the first three months when you cannot even see that tummy no we have the the backbone we have the hands we yes. have the body parts the the most important part like the 
the central nervous system mm. of the baby is developed the, the first, first three months. You know that is a very tricky time because you cannot even see you. You don't, don't even know you're pregnant. You don't, some even don't know they're pregnant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Most and of that them. time, when you don't know you're pregnant, you're going to the chemist and getting all kinds of medication. Like, okay, you're going to get a medication, and you're going to get a medication, and you're the pharmacist doesn't know you're pregnant. You, you also yeah. don't know you're pregnant, so uh, life is going on as usual. Yeah, and you, when you're pregnant, you should be very cautious of medication because you, there are very specific medications that pregnant women are given mm. because most of them, most medications are harmful to the baby. Most of them? Yes, because those that are that pass through the placenta means they go even to the baby mm. and they, they make bad damages. So now here we are, you've... you've done the test, the antenatal mm -hmm. clinics, yes. they have done those three tests, mm -hmm. you're okay, we are headed to almost, the, the lungs are so mature, yes. so mature, so mature, yes, like when we are in Caribbean, the lungs are so mature, yes, they are mature, the last one, they are mature, they are mature, but they mature the last ones. Uh, I see a language of okay, see, the last ones. Okay. Like okay. from thirty seven weeks. Mm. Let me specify. Mm. Thirty seven weeks of gestation. Due to some things, some conditions, some babies can be delivered at thirty seven weeks. They are okay. They can survive. So, below 37 weeks, Ningun. that is preterm, that is known as oh. preterm labor. Below 37 weeks is preterm. So, now here we are, and to men, the Vizuri, there's everything is okay, and even if it's not okay, you have special attention. You on an ISO AC Zako, how miss, how skip, mm -hmm. the tests have been done, mm -hmm. you're taking, you're eating well. Mm -hmm. So, those, this, those are like the important things during this journey. Yes. You're exercising, you're mm -hmm. drinking water. Yes. To make us go sasa, ya go sasa kama midwife, kama nurse. Mimi, mimi looks so good. I I feel like it's a calling, because mm -hmm. person where where they ume ume receive babies. Yes, I have like, received most men. babies. Yes. Like how many Lilian, Ruth? Many, many, more than thirty. Right. Many. Is 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 it okay? This is is it the same? No, it's not a matter of. This is the head. Here is the head. Bring it. Let it. Nini, pade unesa receive wangapi. Ah, depending on the on how the busy the facility is, you can receive up to ten a day. Yes. Depending on how busy the facility is, how many women are giving birth, yes, you can receive up to ten a day. Yes. And it's not all the same. It's not all the same. You know, as a midwife, when you assist in that mother to give birth, it's like both of you are giving birth. Yeah. The, the te tension that you have, the same the midwife has. The expectations that you're having, the same the midwife has. So you say, this is what it is, to success, to not take a whole, to not take a whole, to not a Push, do you? Yes. you're delaying. I try to encourage you and push you like um to choka. Please help us get this baby and get it safely. What? Yes. And that is... the same for the same 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 it's always a success and that's where you're done now with this mother now you've been right. working with me tangu ni pimwe ni ambuye ni kona nini hapa ukisha mchukwe hivyo kilipea unaniachia hapo sasa ama where do I still continue with my antenatal clinics antenatal sasa imeisha sasa mtoto wakikuja hapa si antenatal sasa ni sasa ni postnatal oh yeah yes tumetoka antenatal to, to mend a delivery, sasa tuko postnatal. 
na post ni post na to sasa ya huyu mtoto sasa sasa nyinyi wawili hata ya before ilikuwa ya nyinyi wawili lakini sasa at least na waona both of you na the after the, just the delivery of the baby the first post nato care i'm giving to you ni to make sure the placenta the third stage of labor is done placenta imetoka vizuri you have no tears or if you you just you you suck you had some tears the mission of vizuri and you're not bleeding and you're okay and then after that i make sure you are umekula umeshiba if it is normal delivery it is if it is v delivery ni make sure umekula kwanza when you woge ukule and then i make sure you feed, you breastfeed that baby within the first hour of delivery yani yani unani unanyarakisha kwa hii maisha arakisha sasa amka uoge enda ukule sasa kuja unaonyesha mtoto huyu mtoto aanze kunyonya kitwingine tunataka ku initiate hiyo breastfeeding ndio sasa maziwa ianze kuteremka mm. because usi kuna watu unaweza god forbid unaweza jifungua and then the baby is gone and you don't initiate breastfeeding hapo kuna wengine hata hawawezi sumbuliwa na maziwa kwa saa itatoka anyway mm. but once the breastfeeding has been initiated maziwa at least ikuna. maziwa inaanza ku kuflow it's very important kwa kana kujenga na njaa kaka mtu eh kana nataka ngakufeli kwa first hour kakitoka vizuri so that is for the vibas yes for the c c c yes wana wa bado wajamka like ajarudi ako sawa kunyenyesha wana wainaweza kuwa tricky kwa sababu depending on which anesthesia you were given as a mother during delivery if it was general anesthesia bado labda hujamka vizuri bado uko tu hivyo they will give you some time mm. and then you, you feed the baby with other options yes because the baby has to eat baby has to feed in the first one hour yes now here 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 kwa v, kwa v birth mm-hmm. this this there are different kinds of ama ni ina kuanga tu venye umesema hapa 10 per day mm-hmm. in my head ina kani kama mm-hmm. machine venye una kilanga hii ni kama venye manufacturers naendanga mm-hmm. but now you're saying yours we have some it's not the same so you have to talk hivi yeah hata usually normally mtu anafa kutoka na kichwa that's what that's what we know yes. um, the head is here out yes kama kichwa nimeangalia chini mm-hmm. that is the normal mm-hmm. but utapata yes ametoka na kichwa lakini uso imekuangalia hivi inaitwa face presentation which is is an abnormality mm-hmm. it is not normal but there is a way a midwife maneuvers na mtoto anatoka po kuna nyingine anaweza toka na but like seated yes like in a bat sometimes i talk in a go so all sometimes these are so cool and remetangulia hmm they're abnormal but but as a midwife you're supposed to know how to maneuver and get that baby out right you want a healthy baby and a healthy you want a healthy baby so it doesn't matter litoka aje yes doesn't matter litoka ulitoka na kichomo ulitoka na wapi na mguu so long as you are healthy but i see wakifanya scan the last week ya kuangalia kama kichwa iko chini i didn't know they can allow hawajaona mm-hmm. kichwa kama iko chini and they still still allow you to do a vibath unajua kuna wengine hawafanyi sis uh, hawafanyi scan oh, before birth 
Hata mm. kwenda ta atinatal clinic mm. yote. Ah. Amekuja tu. Ai ai ai. Una daily bonona. Eh isi kichwa, hii ni bat. Ai ai ai. Mhm. Angini wanakuja ready ishaanza labda ni mkono unaona unaona kama mkono kana ama ni kavuguka na hangi hivi. You do your work. You do your work. You just maneuver to help that mother and to help the baby. And it doesn't mean that at the at you won't get the baby at the end of the day. Come on, I'm a fika, I'm a fika. I'm a fika. Who is the Rudisha? Who is the Rudisha? Who is the Rudisha? Okay. Kuna maneuvers, mm. zaku maneuver. Kuna angalia point. Venye kuna ka. Because there's some very difficult ones that you have even to break. Unapata kuna fracture. But you know, to the baby. You fracture the baby. Not you fracture the baby. Unapata kuna some deliveries zenye zikifanyika. Nika unakageuza. Eh. But iyo fracture, ukiwe, okay, iyo fracture na mtoto ametoka na ametoka akiwa sawa, you weigh the benefits. Mm. Kwa zori zenye zenye. Like you're harming the baby at iyo fracture ya maisha. No. Nika kitu tuka doko. Ya yeah, babies. Even within, I think a week. Alisha kuwa sawa. Alisha kuwa sawa. Oh. Because their bones are not developed. Yeah. yeah. Their, their cartilage. They, like, they can mm. bend. Yeah. Yeah. So, where, guys, can we lock this here? Ikuwe part A. Because Ruth, akona vitu mingi sana za kutuambia. Then I see you next week. Please, next week for part B. In the meantime, please leave a comment. Tuambia venye mekua. Engage with us more. Then see you next week for part two, I'm a part B. Bye.